Hello, this is a short video about open and closed circuits. So as you can see, if we start out with a battery source, we're going from negative to positive. There's a break in the circuit right here. The break is held up by a button that can be pushed down and closed. It'll then follow through to the lamp, across the lamp, and back to the positive source. If I close that circuit, right now it's open, it's not able to reach the light. If I close it, you'll see the light comes on. So that's the difference between an open and a closed circuit. There's also another concept here that we can say is a shorted circuit. If the voltage would come out of the batteries through here, bypass the switch, and go straight back to this, you would also find that the light does not light because the power would not have enough to go through here and go to here and also go to the light. It would be shorted. You can see there's a short distance between here and here, and that's why it's called a short. It doesn't necessarily have to mean a physical distance, it just means that the electricity can pass, bypass the load, and pass to the, elect the, the electrical uh, ground, or uh, if you're looking at it from the conventional way, from the positive to the negative. So if you take it again, we have electricity here. It's broken by the switch S2, and when we close the circuit, we then have the light.